the 49th anniversary of the landmark Roe versus Wade abortion decision, a case that could soon be overturned. Abortion opponents rallied in Washington today, including leaders from the Family Institute of Connecticut. Right now, the U.S. Supreme Court is weighing several challenges to Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court may soon take a powerful step towards inclusion, justice, and respect for the weakest and most vulnerable. The Supreme Court is reviewing a Mississippi law banning abortions after 15 weeks. A Texas law goes even farther, setting that limit at just six weeks. Well, here in our state tonight, there is a push to expand abortion access. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven says both sides are gearing up for a fight. Abortion remains an emotional issue in Connecticut. This is the firewall. Three decades after a state law legalized it, even if the Supreme Court overturns Roe versus Wade. Now, some lawmakers want to go even further. Whether the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade or not, those of us in Connecticut are not waiting to take action. A new Reproductive Rights Caucus wants to expand who can offer abortion care, require all insurance plans to cover it, and make some services available through telehealth. We're not the least bit surprised by that. Peter Wolfgang heads the Family Institute of Connecticut. Marching at Friday's anti-abortion rally in Washington, he says pro-choice groups are manufacturing a crisis to make abortion easier. We'll go up there at the state capitol. We'll fight them as we always do. Hopefully we'll beat them. God bless you all. The group fought a bill banning deceptive advertising at so-called crisis pregnancy centers. State lawmakers eventually passed the bill last year. The Speaker of the House, Matt Ritter. This year, the State House Speaker says abortion access is a top priority. In Connecticut, we're going to go this way. We're going to get stronger, more protective. We're not going to go backwards. It's a fight that stretches from Washington to Hartford. John Craven, News 12, Connecticut. Connecticut became the first state to legalize abortion back in 1990. Ironically, it was also the first state to ban it way back in 1821.